Hey guys, welcome back to the Outdoor Navigator. Well, last couple weeks I've been doing some reviews, been inside a whole lot, but uh, as you can see, today I've navigated outdoors again, and uh, we're down here on the Kentucky River in Pool 9 at Lock 10 at Fort Boonesboro State Park. So today we're going to take about a two and a half mile trip uh, down to Halls on the River, get something to eat, and then we're going to come back and... Uh, it's going to be cool and I'm going to share some views with you and tell you a little bit of history and hey, it's going to be a good trip. So stand by and come with me. guys here it is the Kentucky River and if you look up there in front of us you're going to see lock number 10 so we're going to paddle up there and along the way I'll give you a little bit of history in today's episode I've navigated to the Kentucky River the Kentucky River flows over 255 miles from southeastern Kentucky to the Ohio River the section I'm traveling today flows through the bluegrass region of Kentucky this area is highlighted by steep limestone cliffs known as Palisades. We can thank millions of years of erosion for these beautiful features. The Kentucky River has long served as a transportation route. Native Americans lived in areas close to the river and relied on the river for food, water, and trade. As European settlers began moving west, commercial development began to spring up upon the river. Mills, salt works, and ironworks became thriving industry, and the river served as a transportation route for such goods as tobacco, whiskey, timber, coal, and livestock. Goods could be transported as far as New Orleans by river travel. Travel along the river proved to be difficult at times due to flooding and stretches of the river that were too shallow to navigate. In order to solve this, a series of locks and dams were constructed, 14 in total, from Carrollton. Carrollton, Kentucky, all the way down to Betaville. These locks were constructed in two phases, locks 1 through 5 in 1836 to 1842, and locks 6 through 14 from 1891 to 1917. The Civil War and development of the railroad system led to the decline of river travel, and the locks fell into disrepair until the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers took over repair and construction in 1880. After World War II, industry and trade along the river diminished. The river became a recreational destination. The operation of Locks 5 through 14 were decommissioned in 1990 after management was transferred to the Kentucky River Authority. My trip today runs through Pool 9 of the Kentucky River between Locks 9 and 10. The trip starts just below Lock 10 at the boat ramp at Fort Boonesboro State Park, and the trip today ends at Halls on the River for a delicious picnic on Lower Howard's Creek. All right guys, if you look out there in front of me, you'll see that sandy beach over there. I guess y'all can see it. All right, it's hard to believe, but back in the day, that was a happening beach. I mean, man, there would have been hundreds of people lined up all the way up and down the sands of the Kentucky River. There was also a resort uh, that was over there at the time. And people would come down here and just have, have an awesome time on the beach. I mean, this was a vacation. You know, people in Kentucky, the ocean's a long ways away. So when they came to the beach, they'd come down here. And uh, pretty cool. Now, I'll paddle around here. You can see the lock up here a little bit better. All right, guys, so if you look up there, you can see the original lock. See the canal there? So you can see how much higher that part of the river is. So boats would come into there. They would pump water into it. They close the doors. They pump water into it. It would fill up. 
okay? And then they would release the water slowly, bring them down to this level, and then they would open the gate and they would come down. So, pretty cool. Kentucky Palisades region. Okay, it's a geological region that runs, that the Kentucky River runs through. And in that region, this is what you get, these big, tall limestone cliffs. You get caves, rock formations, just beauty that just can't be described. I mean, you have to see it. So we'll paddle down in through here a little bit, guys, just to uh, enjoy the views, as I am. Now, when I was a young navigator, I used to come down here to the river right here and go off this rope swing all the time. It was a good time. It was a Sunday tradition. And my buddies that are watching my channel, you'll remember we had some good times right here.
All right, guys, well, we're getting down to our destination today. If you look over there, you'll see that creek running in here to the river. That's Lowered Howard's, Lower Howard's Creek. And we're gonna navigate up through there. We're gonna get out and we're gonna go to Halls on the River and get us something to eat. Cause we've, we've earned a meal. So let's, let's check this out. Man, I see men are swimming. There be big bass in here. Hopefully it stays. Unless we can make it. It'll be shallow.
God, there's a bunch of logs up here, man. Yeah, let's just stop here. Well, I mean, I'm going to go look and see. I don't look like there's going to be no getting across. I mean, that stinks, but that's the uh, get out spot. So don't you all come in here. You all stay right there for me. Mm -hmm. I find somewhere to get out. I think. Hey, yeah. it is possible. Yeah, you just have to be able to navigate a little bit. Hold on. Maybe. I mean, I did make it. Hey, you all can make it. But you have to be good. I mean, you're going to have to float across and stuff, but it's possible. Hey, guys. Well, we had a real good trip. Uh, we traveled, I don't know, it's probably just over two miles, so we'll have two miles back. Uh, we were traveling uh, down the river, so, you know, we didn't have to fight any current or anything. We did have a little bit of shade uh, on one side, as you'll see in the video, but it was pretty good. I mean, real good, relaxing trip. And uh, now that we're down here, we're going to check out halls on the river, okay? And I'll put some information in the comments about halls. But we're going to get us some cheeseburgers, and I'll show you where we're... Uh, having our picnic I mean man get to listen to little gurgle of the creek alright we brought our boats up that lower Howard's Creek okay we came up here and we pulled them out we had a little bit of tight spot down here you can see where there's a tree across the uh, creek so we had to uh, we had to be uh, a little creative getting through there, but but we made it. So we come up here and uh, pulled our boats out, and uh, we took our seats out, and we got them set up here. And my buddies went up there to get some food for us. And when they get back, we'll have us a good lunch. So I mean, guys, I mean, just a little trip like this. I mean, here it is Saturday. It's beautiful outside. It's uh, the highs today are going to be low 80s. There's not hardly a cloud in the sky it's just really nice i mean perfect day to get outside and just do something and today what we did was we took a little canoe trip or kayak trip and uh there's a real good boat ramp up there at boonesboro and i'll show you some footage of it here in the video and halls on the river great place to eat but if you want a little bit longer trip okay a six mile trip down the river will take you to clay's ferry okay where there's a uh Proud Mary's Barbecue. Awesome place to eat. I mean, you can go outside. You can sit on the patio overlooking the river. I mean, it's nice. And 
I'll include some information in the comments about that, but I'll be taking that trip here pretty soon, and I'll show you that too. So make sure you uh, hit that notification bell, and when I get that video out, you'll get to see it. So uh, take every opportunity you can to get outside, guys. All right, we got our food today at Halls on the River, which is located at 1225 athens Boonesboro Road in Winchester, Kentucky. See the comments for more information. There's seating inside and out of the restaurant. Uh, it sits across from the birthplace of beer cheese, which was Johnny Almonds, who built his restaurant in the 1930s. Uh, there was a flood at this restaurant in 2021, and you can see on the sign how high the water got. It was crazy. I mean, it was all up inside there. And uh, the picture in the background, you see a guy sitting in his kayak inside the restaurant. This is this is how high the water was, and it was just in 2021. Uh, this is a view from the restaurant from the outside down on the creek, Lord Howard's Creek that we came up. All right, there's a picture of our cheeseburger, and there's us sitting on the banks enjoying our food. I mean, it was a great time. All right, guys, so here's something that's that's cool on this trip, and I do mean cool, okay? Uh, it's about, I don't know, probably mid-80s. It's a little bit humid. The sun's coming out a little bit, and I, if you all can see, but there's a little haze, okay? And that's not my camera lens, okay? What that haze is down here at Boonesboro, there is a rock quarry, okay, and... It goes way down deep into the ground, and they've got portholes all through it, okay, coming out, and that cold air just blows out, I mean, just like a natural air condition. So, like, right now, I'm sitting here, although it's sunny and everything else, man, I've got, like, 60-some degrees air just blowing, and I mean, man, it feels good. Y'all gotta come down here and check this out. It's awesome. All right, guys, so right here is one of those holes I was telling you about. I don't know if y'all can see it up there. That's it right there. But you can see the leaves moving. That's that air. That's that air just blowing out of there. And I mean, I'm telling you right now, man, that feels good, man. Air condition. I've been down here before, like when it was really hot. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to stay here for a while because I mean, it felt so good. Just that cool air from the earth. So, but like I said, navigate outdoors and get down here and check it out. All right, guys, so we're back from another good outdoor adventure. Uh, we had a good time. Uh, we went down the Kentucky River, down at Fort Boonesboro. We took about a just over two-mile trip down to uh, on the Kentucky River, down to Halls on the River, which is a restaurant. In, it actually sits over in Clark County, uh, Kentucky. But we went down there. We got us an awesome cheeseburger. We had a picnic on the creek. Then we got back and came back to Fort Boonesboro, loaded up, and came home. It was a great day out on the water, a great day to be outdoors, and uh, just good times, guys. So, I think it's about a five-hour trip all together. Uh, we didn't paddle ourselves to death, you know. You can see I've got fish and kayaks, so they're not the best to paddle with, but uh, they, hey, they did the thing, you know. We had a good time, we saw some good stuff, and uh, it was great, so. Uh, hope you enjoy this episode. Hope you get a chance to go out, even if you don't go to Boonesboro. Find you a local spot. Go out and take you a kayak trip. Go out and see nature and just chill and relax. I want to thank you for stopping by. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Uh, we'll be doing more stuff like this. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I told y'all I broke my scapula and some ribs about two or three months ago now. So feels like it's healing up had a good time so don't let anything keep you from getting outside navigate outdoors and i'll see you in the next episode peace